All right, so why did Yelich, who, I mean, I, I think he left a lot of money on the table. He left so much money on the table. Why did he? I mean, I guess he loves Milwaukee. <laughs> Paxson's laughing at it. <laughs> I mean. The union can't be just, too happy about that. I, look, the union's, the union's public uh, MO is that we exist so players can make decisions that make them happy. And I don't think Christian Yelich would be signing this contract if he was not happy with it. Nobody's twisting his arm. Nobody's forcing him to do it. Clearly, he wants to stay in Milwaukee. Clearly, he believes that $215 million is plenty of money for him to live for the rest of his life, for his generations upon generations of family to live really well going forward. Um, it, you know, he's not Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts right now, that, these are the two that I want to compare because I, I think it's an important comparison to make. Both of them came up around the same time, right? Both came up when they were 21 years old. Yelich was a little more highly touted, got a million seven out of high school. Mookie Betts, uh, you know, I think was a, was like a fifth or sixth round pick. But both got to the, the big leagues at about 21 years old. Uh, Christian Yelich, very early in his, contract, uh, in his, in his career, signed a seven-year extension with a uh, couple of options, at least one, maybe two club options, uh, that would guarantee him $49.5 million. He hadn't done a whole lot in his career to that point. There was a lot of potential. The Marlins were betting on him. Mookie Betts got offered deal after deal after deal after deal and said no. He said no because he wants to maximize what he's going to get in free agency. He said no because he feels like he has a responsibility to the players, to his fellow brethren in baseball, both present and future, to set standards for contracts, and he is going to get, if he plays up to his standard, at least 350 and probably $400 million this offseason for the same amount of time that Christian Yelich is now going to be getting, you know, $210 million, $215 million. So, yeah, Christian Yelich, when it's all said and done, with his two contracts for $50 million and this extension for $190 million, uh, will probably have left somewhere in the neighborhood of $200 million on the table.